What is up? This year, LA in a minute, and we know that California has a perennial water shortage and a severe drought. And today, the LA Times had a feature on something I've been wondering for years. Why do we not use desalination to solve some of this problem? The Pacific Ocean seems like a plentiful resource. We have the technology working well elsewhere, so let's get into it. So we are essentially in a 22-year drought that scientists say is the driest 22-year period in the last 1,200 years in California. Poseidon Water has been trying for the last 20 plus years to build one of the country's largest desalination plants. The company and its supporters say that the $1.4 billion plant would be capable of producing 50 million gallons of drinking water per day. The plant wouldn't be the first of its kind, not even in Southern California. In Carlsbad, the nation's largest desalination plant has been churning out drinking water since 2015. This water accounts for 10% of what's being used by the area's 3.3 million people. Santa Barbara also has a functional desalination facility, and that costs the users about $5 per household per month. So on paper, this seems like a no-brainer. We always hear about the drought. We always hear about water scarcity. We're always told to conserve. But the California Coastal Commission is scheduled to vote next month on whether or not to build a permit to build the plant. However, this week, the commission, the agency's own commission, rejected the proposed project. But why? One of the concerns is flood risks based on updated projections of sea level rise. Another is the concern of water rate increase up to $6 per month per household. Additionally, the effects on marine life such as plankton and fish larvae that are vital to the marine ecosystem. Now, additionally, activists claim that there are other solutions that are far more economical, such as investing in conservation programs and water efficiency improvements. To me personally, I've heard this, I've seen this, I just don't think people are willing to change their behavior to this extent. Across the world, the desalination business is booming as it quenches the thirst of drought and dryness-plagued regions. Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, Jordan, Egypt, Spain, Singapore, South Africa, and other countries have successful desalination plants. The California Coastal Commission is scheduled to vote whether to approve this development permit at a May 12th meeting in Costa Mesa. At that point, we'll see if desalination becomes a real future for Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.